Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to backup and restore Azure App Service. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Let me just create a web app service. Well, in the Azure App Service, we can easily restore application backups. We can also make on-demand custom backups or configure schedule custom backup. We can restore a backup by overwriting an existing app by restoring to a new app or slot. So, let me first create a web app and then we'll see how to configure backups and restore backups or how to what are custom backups? What are uh, configure custom scheduled backups? Let me just create a new resource group. You can do, you can select whatever name you want. I'm using the same name. Let me use another one. I'll do dot net. I will do go for East US. You can select any region you want. I'm going with standard S1 plan. I'm not making any changes. Let it come to deployment. Disable. Networking, I'll keep it off. Monitoring, I'll go with no because I'm just doing it for my lab. Review create and I'll hit create. Submitting deployment. My web app is deployed. I am going to click on go to resource. Till the time I am going to resource. So, there are two types of uh, backup when it comes to web app, right? So, it is... Okay, so there is automatic and custom backup. For automatic backups, the pricing tier of your app should be standard or premium. For custom backups, it should be, it is available in custom, premium or isolated. Uh, there is no configuration required for uh, automatic backups in standard and premium tier, but if you are uh, deploying custom backups, there is a configuration required. The backup size of the automatic backups is 30 gigs and the backup size for custom backups is 10 gigs, 4 GB for which can be the linked database. And there are a lot of uh, other options or other features when it comes to the difference between automatic versus custom backups that you can read more about on the Microsoft documentation. So, when you want to restore a backup, Right, you go to the Azure portal in your uh, backup and you see the option of backup here. Automatic backup, every one hour, the backup, uh, on-demand backup is uh, not available. So, after an hour, I would see a backup here. Uh, I just created this web app. That is why there are no available backups to display. But automatic backup, uh, the default time is every one hour and I cannot initiate an on-demand backup. But I can create a con configure, I can configure the custom backup here. We'll cover that in the next video, right? So, uh, when there is a backup, you just select the backup that you want to restore and when you will click on restore I would get an option to restore a backup for that I would need a storage account and a container in this uh, 
very resource group and when you see the sources storage and if you see the source is automatic backup right so backup time let's say today is uh, 10th of august backup time i'll select Okay, so it would not give me the backup time. So if I select eleventh, I don't have any available backups. That is why I'm not getting an option to restore. Right? So I don't have a custom backup as well. Right? and if i create configure custom backup advanced basics to storage account and container to store your backup i don't have a backup i'll create a new one so uh, i will create i will explain that in the another video but you get the idea that every one hour there would be an automatic backup that you will restore by clicking this option and if the source is storage and if the source is automatic backup you will just select the backup date and the time uh, for which restore point you want to go to and then you will choose a destination if you want to create a new web app and restore a backup there or if you want to use an existing back web app and use a uh, an existing slot or you want to create another slot all right so that is how you configure and restore a backup in the next video we will see how to create how to configure custom backup i hope you liked this video if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you